So, welcome to another Simply Diagnostics video down here in bright and sunny Cheshire at the simplydiag.net community hub. And uh, we're currently setting up for filming. We're going to do a couple of technical videos today for you. Um, so watch out for them. We're currently running the live Zoom. We've got the tech support Zoom running. We've got three camera feeds from the hub with the fourth one available if we need it. So if you want some technical advice, feel free to drop into the technical support Zoom at no extra cost. We're working through today. We've got this J11 Nissan Qashqai coming from a car trader with a front camera fault. So that's the camera that's mounted on the windscreen. Um, their technicians have had a look at it and they've said that it's missing an earth to the camera. So we're gonna go, we'll do um, a little bit of a technical, a little bit of a technical talk through on that, on process and, and stuff like that. We're gonna be using the Bosch KTS 590 from Diagnostic Connections and DC Tuning. We'll be using All Data Wire, also the OEM information from All Data. Um, we're using their wiring diagrams and their repair procedures. Uh, what else? We've already had a look through DDTSB to see if there are any relevant bulletins for this vehicle, which there are not. And uh, yeah, we're going to be showing you some of the, the power user features for the KTS 590. Um, and it's inbuilt oscilloscope, two channel oscilloscope. So that's something to watch out for. So the first thing we have, we do when we get a vehicle in is we do a global vehicle scan of the, of the car in question. So we've got a time and date stamp record of what we're doing. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? That beep, I don't know whether you can hear that. That's really setting my teeth on edge. So um, these are all the fault codes that are currently stored in the vehicle. We've got passenger side airbag deactivation switch, uh, front passenger airbag lamp deactivation open circuit, airbag indicator lamp open circuit, airbag control, un control unit supply voltage below threshold. This is quite surprising that because I've been into live data and it's showing correct voltage at the module. We've got the front driver assistance camera with the a control unit malfunction and an internal power supply fault. And then the radar, we've got uh, a can communication malfunction. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's not communicating. Um, it can mean that there's a message on that data bus that it doesn't like. There's something there it doesn't like. And we've also got another power supply malfunction. Okay, so that's one, two, three power supply malfunctions. That needs to go on the, on the whiteboard as um, a common area that we need to look at. Of those three units, are they all fed from the same fuse or on the fr same circuit, something like that? So that's a, that's a red flag, something that we need to put a pin in and investigate when we're looking at the wiring diagrams. We've also got rear right tire air pressure too low. Um, doesn't look to be. And then again, on the driver information display, we've got can communication electrical interference. That could be anything. It's a U1000 code. So again, probably what it means is there's a message on the bus that it's expecting to see that it can't get, or there's a message on the on the on the data network giving a value that it doesn't like that's out of tolerance. So these are the things we do to start building up a picture of how we're going to approach this. But we've always got to remember we we we're, we're simply when we're doing a diagnosis, we're addressing the customer's concern. The customer has asked us to investigate. <coughs> the power and ground and communication network to the front camera. And to follow on from that, if there's any further testing needed, we'll speak to our customer and see where we want to go from that. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks again to Diagnostic Connections DC Tuning for the Bosch KTS, All Data for the wiring diagrams, Core Diagnostics for the beanie, cause I've lost my winter hair. <laughs> bit, bit premature, it's not spring yet, but hey, oh, there it is. Um, Oh, we're also, we've, we've got the vehicle on battery support using the top down T120A battery support unit as well. So best practices, best equipment, best partners. What can Simply Diag do for you? Come and join us on our network, get some pre-tech support. Thanks for watching, you're awesome.